Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to talk about the facts behind high GRE quant scores. In this video, what I've actually done is that I have reviewed hundreds of uh, students' uh, GRE scores and uh, I have analyzed it uh, very in detail. And uh, one thing I figured out that the few things have changed uh, in the GRE test after 2016. And I would like to highlight those things to a lot of students over here who are preparing for the GRE in 2020. Very basic comparison, what I did was I actually picked up two students who actually have a GRE in 2016 and 2020. They both have same GRE total scores. They have same quant scores, they have same verbal scores. The mistake they have made in their quant section one is the same, one one. And the overall quant mistakes were one as well. So this gives a very good analysis that, you know, two students having the same scores in quant and verbal in both sections, same mistakes, and what, what are the different questions they actually came across in, in two different time frame in 2016 and 2020. And uh, it's not just that the data point we have. We also have other hundreds of uh, student scores as well, and we analyze those scores as well. And uh, we figure out that things have started to get more challenging uh, in the GRE. Uh, and I'll be talking about those things later on in this uh, video. So as we know that GRE test is a section adoptive test, it basically means that the first section is always a medium level section. So we are talking about a section. So each section will have 20 questions. So first section will be a medium section. No matter how good you are in, in maths, how bad you are in maths, you will always get a medium level section. So if you perform well, the next section, which is section two, it can be easy can be medium it can be hard based on how you perform in the first section so based on our analysis so if you correct 15 question in section 1 the next section would be hard level section okay so moving on to the next slide we see that in the GRE test there are questions of five different difficulty levels starting from very easy to very hard and they are numbered as one, two, three, four, five. So the real meaning of these kind of difficulty levels we'll see in the original GRE reports that we're going to see in the next slides. So let's talk about student A experience. So we are going to talk about quantitative section one with a difficulty level of medium, which is by default, and there would be 20 questions. So here you can see the original GRE report of a student A and um, this is section 1. Section 1 is divided into four different chapters arithmetic, algebra, geometry and data analysis and they are further divided by question types, settings, right wrong, difficulty level and the time spent. So if you look at uh, the difficulty level as we have seen in the previous slide there are many questions which have the difficulty level of 3, 2, 4, 5, and 1. So if you look at the questions which were correct were 19 out of these 20 questions. The only question was an incorrect one was data analysis question number 7. And unfortunately that was a difficulty level of one question. So let's have a deep down into this report in our next slide. So here we can clearly see that the section one difficulty level one questions were two, easy question were three, medium question were 10, and hard questions were four, and very hard question was one. A, a lot of focus was given on the medium level questions. Like there were majority of questions were 10, then five questions were easy and very easy, and five questions were hard and very hard. That used to be the case in 2016. Now let's look at his section two. So he got 19 correct in section one. So definitely the next section would be a difficult one, right? As it is a section adoptive test. This is student A section two. And here you can see he got all the questions correct. And let's have a breakdown of this section in the next slide. 
So here you can clearly see that difficulty level 5 is 4, hard is 12, medium is 3, there's zero easy question and there's just one very easy question. So you can see that a lot of focus has been on a difficulty level 4 in the harder section of his test. In other words, we can say that there was a shift from a medium to a hard level question. For example, like if you, if you look at over here, so he had 10 medium questions, but over here, the, the shift is more towards the hard now, level four, all right? If you look at a very important thing, how many questions are in difficulty level four and five? So there are 16 questions which were in four and five. That means a lot of focus was given on the hard and very hard question types, okay? Now, let's look at an experience of student B uh, who took the GRE in 2020. So again, it's the first section, so it has to be by default medium level section, and there would be 20 questions. In this report, you can see there was just one mistake of difficulty level three. So that means a student has got only one incorrect in section one. So if you look at the summary of this section, so we have very easy three question, easy five question, medium is six, hard is four, and very hard is two. So now if you compare this student with the previous one, you can see the questions are pretty much widespread, but the weight is not given to the medium one. So if you see the hard and very hard questions, so they are still six which is equivalent to the number of medium questions. So they are trying to make it neutralize in a way that they have divided the question in other parts of the, of the test as well, but they are also giving a lot of weightage to the hard and very hard section as well. Correct? Moving to the next slide. So again, section one was medium and the student got 19 correct in the first section. So the next section has to be a hard section. So looking at this report, you can see all the questions are correct. And there were many fives and fours in this uh, test. And also if you look at the data analysis, all of them are uh, very hard questions, except for set members, which were one and twos. So looking at the, at the data set of the student B, uh, we see a lot of weightage has been given on very hard this time as compared to the previous one. Also, you can see that the number of questions between hard and very hard is 15. And there are very less weightage given to very easy and easy and medium. So uh, please note down that, you know, it's, it's not that easy to attempt very hard questions in a very short period of time. So you need to be extremely good at maths to get those questions correct in a very short period of time. Now, let's do the comparison of the two students. So you can see on the left side of student A, the weightage was more given on the medium level section. So there were 10 medium. So on the right side, you can see the weightage was given on medium and hard. Now, if you look at the the hard level section of both the tests. So you see that very easy is the same, one, one. On the right side, they have tried to normalize. Uh, they have also given a question from easy as well. They have reduced the medium from three to two. They have also reduced from hard from 12 to eight, but they have increased the difficulty level of extra three questions from four to seven. So if you see the difficulty level of hard and very hard, there are 15 questions which belong to either hard or very hard question types. And uh, so there's a lot of weightage being given on the GIE test on those type of questions. Another analysis on, on the same two students' experiences. So you can see in section one, there's a drop in the medium level question types from 10 to six. The hard level is same but you can see that very hard has increased from one to two the same way if you if you look at section two the medium has dropped 
the hard is also dropped but you if you see the very difficult has increased if you do the comparison of the two so you can see four very hard questions are added to the list as compared to 2016 list so this is very interesting so that means if you really want to get a very high score in quant you need to really focus on either hard or very hard question types here is the distribution of medium, hard, and very hard questions in 2020. So you can see there are 20% of the medium questions in the entire test. The number of questions in the hard is 30%, and the percent of very hard question is 25%. So this basically means that 75% of your entire test belongs to these three sections. And if we exclude the medium level section and we just focus on the hard and very hard it's your 55 percent of your test GRE test is based on hard or very hard level question types here's the summary again so hard and very hard question types are 55 percent medium is 20 percent and easy and very easy is 25 percent so 75 percent of your test is dependent on medium hard and very hard question types so if you really want to get a very good GIE score, especially in the quant, you need to focus on the, the question types which are difficult in nature. To summarize it, so if you really need to get a high GIE quant score, then I would suggest that follow this roadmap. First of all, the first step is always to focus on your concept. So I would not recommend anybody to start practicing if the concepts are not clear. So always make sure that you, you are crystal clear on your concept. There they should be like, if you really want to get a very high quant score, you should be very clear on all the math topics of GRE quant so that you'll be able to perform well in all the question types. Secondly, step two is that once you're clear on the concepts, then start practicing those concepts on basic level questions. There's a very nice guide of Manhattan 5 pound. So I would suggest that once you start working on your concept, then you should start working on your practicing from those Manhattan 5 pound. Once you have a clear concepts and once you solve GRE basic level questions, then I would recommend you to go to scholarden.com and then practice high quality GRE medium to hard level questions from there. So on scholarden you will find 75% of the content is belong to medium and hard level questions. So we have actually replicated how the GRE is, is testing in the real exam. And that's how we have actually built the scholar and platform.